before you actually start on the process of your flu up, you really want to remember that there is a time limit of about seven minutes in which you have to glue every sheet of veneer, put the veneer on the mold, put the mold in the bag, get the breather netting on the mold, and then pump all of the air out of the bag, all in seven minutes, because otherwise what happens is the glue begins to dry before the board has been shaped and you get all kinds of problems and warping and stuff like that, and you don't want that. So uh, it's better when you're working, um, doing the entire process to work with uh, at least two people. We've got three. Hi, Ryan. Hi. And, uh, and yeah. we're going to do it, okay? And, uh, keep an eye on how Ryan applies the glue and the amount of glue that he puts on. And uh, let's go for it. Sure. So at this point, Ryan's putting a little bit more glue on uh, uh, the surface that Rebecca is rolling. And you now the glue you see normally isn't there, but uh, yeah, it'll, it'll, you'll, it'll still work fine. And since I'm not going to be rolling the glue at all, I'll be the one to open the bag because you want to have someone with nice clean hands to deal with the tape that's on the bag. And when you're rolling, you just want to remember that you, um, you need to get an even layer of glue all the way up to the edges, so it looks pretty uniform. And the glue pour can also be looking out for dry spots. And you want to try to um, line up the holes now um, with both sides. And once you get them lined up and you can see through, and then take and just pat it down, and that helps prevent it from moving. And remember, you're always having to work quickly. We're actually uh, trying to apply more glue on these surfaces here than on this. Uh, especially with the cross grain ones. The cross grain ones are really uh, strong. Uh, they, they lengthen if we put too much glue on them. So the uh, they're actually not lining up on this side. Oh, a little bit. Okay. Um, sometimes uh, they don't line up, and uh, then just uh, spend your time putting uh, uh, the holes lined up at this side, and that'll work really well. And just let that do whatever it's going to do. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> you can always re-drill the holes once the uh, board is completed. So it's not the end of the world if the holes don't line up in some places. You can see we're really trying to do an even coat. And uh, this is a, a good speed to get the glue down. It's really great to have one person working with glue. Um, uh, it, it's easy for a, a student uh, or the teacher to do it, and they're sort of the one that uh, uh, keeps an eye on the, the timing and uh, making sure that everything is uh, going right. Okay, so we've got the glue on all of the layers. 
And now what we're going to do is uh, you look for the arrow and you match the arrow up with the arrow. And you can set this on the top. Uh, we have a pin and we're going to put the pin through, all the way through, pressing it all the way down, and then line it up with uh, the hole, um, or sometimes you have to make a new hole, but you just line it up, you press it down, you line this side up, actually it's not quite right. Yeah. You want to make sure it's straight because otherwise um, when you press it, it can twist slightly, but it won't uh, be for and then we have a couple of pieces of elastic, and we put elastic on either side. And remember, you're still having to worry about time because that, that glue inside is drying. And Ryan uh, has come up with a great idea. Uh, if you put the breather mesh away from the holes in the center here, you will eliminate the excess of glue that comes up through there. You want that to work after you take the board out of the bag. Okay. Do you want to open that, Ryan? Not yet. So since I have no glue on my fingers, I'll be the one to open this up. Okay. And then you want to remove the protective seal on the tape. Keep it in the bag so you don't lose it. Pull these out at the edges, press it down, get rid of all the gray area, make sure you got a good seal.